In this tutorial, I will show you how to register scans with Cyclone Register 360 and thus go from this to this. Welcome to Power Search, where I show you everything that I know about Revit. If you are visiting today, don't forget to click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content. Before starting, it is advisable to set up multiple versions of the project using the version manager. These are versions previously created. To create a duplicate, click the name and then click on Create Version. Be sure to click in and give that new version a good and descriptive name. In this example, I have one project which contains two bundles and three standalone setups. As I click the bundle over here on the right hand side, I get a report on Link Inspection. Using this table as a guide, this report tells me how accurate the final point cloud will be. Let's take a look. In this instance, I have a really low error reading. With healthy overlap and good strength and a great cloud to cloud connection. It is also useful to use this table below to quickly identify rogue setups. In saying this however, green doesn't always mean that everything is okay with the cloud registration. Let me show you. I can use the sitemap to navigate to the bundle cloud where I view only the selected bundle. Now that I am in that view, there is an obvious error where the fire escape door hovers above the ground, even though the bundle stats are good. So, it is always wise to verify all registrations. Moving back to the sitemap, I want to find that fire escape scan, which can be hard, but there are some helpful tools which I would like to show you. Start by focusing on the bundle that setup belongs to, then move down to the True Slicer tool, which will highlight each setup in an independent color. In turn, each setup can be switched off in view, which will help identify the problem scan. Once all setups are hidden, I can progressively turn on the identified problem scans. And as shown on screen, the green scan, also known as setup 106, is the area that I am looking for. I can now turn on all of the other setups for context. Back on the sitemap, I can zoom in to this area and remove any links associated to this setup. Click to select a link and then from the toolbar below, click delete link. With that setup now isolated, I click to move it out of the way. If you wanted to verify this, with that setup still selected, Find Setup Cloud, which only shows the cloud of that scan. And then click Orbit to visualize this in 3D. I can now start to link common areas together. To link setups, first click the Host Setup and then click the Transferring Setup. With those two setups now selected, move down to the toolbar at the bottom and click on Visual Alignment. Each setup has an independent color, orange for the host and aqua for the transferring setup. And the idea is to transfer or move the aqua setup so that it will align with any overlap on the orange setup. To align, First move to a suitable area and then rotate to complete the alignment. Then repeat for the side view. In this instance, the error has been found. Setup 106 was too high. I can now move that down. With the alignment complete, I can now join and optimize where I am prompted with the error statistics. Remember that 7mm was the threshold for a good registration. This link has a value of 2.4 which is well within the safe zone. And one link has now been added to the project. Following on, I can pick another setup. 
and as I drag it close to a bundle, a white dashed line appears. This is Cyclone suggesting a link because it recognizes a healthy overlap between these setups. I will choose the second suggestion. Repeating the linking setups I showed earlier, I first select the host setup and then select the transferring setup and then click on visual alignment. And then I repeat the steps for alignment. Inside view, I can also align in 3D. This is helpful for context. Once active, hold shift and use the left mouse button to orbit. Once I am satisfied, I can join and optimize. Here, Cyclone is suggesting that I also link to the other suggested link. In this case, I will click no. I will continue to build up the cloud model. When aligning, it is helpful to identify similarities between the setups. For example, here, this elbow bend suggests a good starting point. I now have one independent setup remaining to link. And again, I look for similarities between the two setups. When aligning with the rotation tool, it is helpful to extend the white reference line as long as possible. This helps with control. I am now left with two bundles. Bundles can be a little harder to work with because, in this case at least, there are no direct or obvious links between the two. What this means is that sometimes you will have to guess which two setups to select for alignment. Once in alignment view, I am looking for consistent areas between the scans. It will be obvious if an appropriate overlap exists. If not, simply click Cancel in the bottom corner. All setups have now been linked into one single bundle. And so now I can optimize the bundle, where I can verify the quality of each link. If all is good, I can then move up to the finalize tab and complete the registration and then publish. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope that you found it interesting and that you learned something new. If you did, kindly remember to subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you in the next video.